guys, Tomer13 here and back again for another beer review. Watch out for the cats, you can hear them, they're going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, today we're looking at a beer sent for me, or sent for me for a, in a beer mail from Beer Guy Reviews. Something I'm looking forward to trying, so I'm going to try it a little bit early in the night. This will be a flying, flying monkey's crap from, well, flying monkeys from the, obviously, crappery, and almost pale ale. 5% alcohol by volume, 355 mils. Optical illusion, almost pale ale. Really excited to try this. There we are. I'm gonna go too close because. Anyway. It's from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Earth, Milky Way, the Universe, and Infinity. And Norval is weird. Well said. Author Illusion, almost pale ale. Well, yeah, almost. Illusion twists. Illusions twist the expected into the unusual. So almost is as good as we can get. Come to think of it, twisted and unexpected are good words too. Presto Chainzu, nothing up our sleeves. This potion of hops, malt, water, yeast has conjured a life all its own. Almost pale ale. This bottle is definitely going back in the collection. Cats are going fucking batshit. But, what can I do? Whatever the hell left my opener. Anyways, guys, here's where we're at. Give her a crack. And I've been really looking forward to it because I've heard a lot of a lot of good stuff from the Fly Monkeys, Fly Monkey Brewery. <laughs> Give her a pour. Guinness glass here. Nice orange color. Head safe. Nice and fine head. About a uh, eh, finger and a half or so. Gray looking beer. Nice orange. Really nice orange color. Fair amount of carbonation going up there. So, let's take a sniff. Mm. It's got a like a uh, like a dark fruity smell on it. citrus of it. Oh, still a lot of head there so uh, yeah take a sip then we'll get back to the smell. Huh. Little bit of a uh, little bit of grapefruit, orangey, Tart lemony taste in there. Find it a little like dry on the back end. Well, there's a lot more grapefruit right there. Yeah, we're getting into it. Yeah, grapefruit. Uh, Like I said, a little dry, like nice and dry in the back end, which I like. Hmm. Stick another stuff. Get 
little of a <clears throat> almost a, uh, like a very light uh, chocolate smell off it, like uh, baker's chocolate or like a honestly like a, almost like a very very light like a brownie smell. I don't know if you guys ever have got that from it, but <clears throat> but I'm gonna go with what the Rhino says. Everybody has their own palate. Cheers, brother, for the Rhino for saying that because I totally agree with that. Yeah. A little bit of grapefruit, a little like a, a little bit of, a little bit of orange. Maybe so like a mix of the two. Tiny bit of lemon in there. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, yeah, that's pretty good. And the head's a little, uh, not quite white, almost like an eggshell. Yeah, for, yeah, for what it is, damn good. Oh, well, there's something written on the cap, too. Generally avoid temptation unless you can't resist it. Well, fuck, who can they? Eh? Anyways, guys, overall, very easy drinking beer. Not overly complex, I guess. But very tasty. Uh, so yeah. A little sip offer. Hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. We'll go, uh, we'll go, I don't know, three and a half on that one. That's pretty tasty. That's something, I could definitely drink a, probably a six pack of that. that that'd be a nice night, having a few of these. It's not up high for, for the bitter, and it's not too low. Yeah, just a nice, yeah, pretty good drinking beer. Anyways, guys. See you.